It seems that we are living in a world where everything is uh, shared. People share their pictures, share their impressions, but, but I think they don't really share their most intimate thoughts, their, their dark thoughts, the kind that you cannot put on Facebook and get likes for. As a story hunter, as a storyteller, I feel this urge to confess. I feel it with my creative writing students. I feel it with readers coming to me after events, telling me stories. But the question is, and this I think is what I was trying to do, is, is a confession the truth? Or when you confess, are you confessing the truth? Or, are, or is a confession another form of a story? Confessing is not only about telling the truth, it's also about manipulating. You want to get something out of it. You want to tell a story to convince someone, to get his empathy, to, to feel less, less uh, or more understand, understood. The one who listens to you changes the story. The one who, you, we, who we are telling our story to, our, our secret, affects the story. I think they feel, three of them, the three uh, confessors are feeling relieved. They feel less lonely. They have unloaded their secrets, their dark side, their, 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 the thoughts that they had only for themselves. But I don't think that they are saved because they confessed, but it didn't change the situation. It's not salvation. It's not like in a church when you go and you confess and then you are forgiven. It's not straight like that. So I'm not trying to heal my characters. I'm, I, I think what I felt specifically in this book is I was trying not to be judgmental. Because usually in other books of mine, not yet published in Greek, uh, I used to fall in love with my characters. Uh, I liked them from the first page till the last. In this book it was different because I, there are minutes I liked them, there are minutes I disliked them. I understood them and I, I, I didn't understand. I wanted to tell them, don't do that, and I wanted to tell them, yeah, that's the right thing. So I was trying not to be judgmental. And I think not being judgmental is, is in real life, not, not only in literature, is, is a big thing. One of the, my, maybe the favorite response I got to this book was in Italy. A woman reading the, the second floor, and she said, I read this story and I could forgive myself. She didn't tell what. She didn't tell the story behind the story. Nothing, just this. And I thought, this is, yeah, this is exactly what I, what I felt, what I wanted maybe my characters to, to, to be portrayed in that non-judgmental way. They are doing mistakes are not perfect, they are doing non-moral non things, but they are human beings. Israel is not in a confessing mood right now. The government has become uh, kind of difficult. Uh, when you are in a conflict, when, when a nation feels intimidated uh, in a constant war, it doesn't have a real space for confessing. I, I think to confess, you need um, perspective. You need to feel that you are not struggling on the lower levels of the Maslow pyramid. And, and even though Israel is perceived as a strong side in most of, the, or of its conflicts, as, the Israeli psyche is always intimidated. It always feels that the next pogrom, the next uh, uh, threat is, is, is about to come. So people are not in the mood for confessing, generally. I wish they were, but it's not, it's not like that. Um, I think if you look at history, like, uh, like in a broad perspective, not only about what is happening right now, this week, you can see moments in time that of, of missed opportunities to reach peace, to reach a peaceful uh, um, agreement. Um, and 
I think if uh, Israel and Israelis would be completely honest with themselves, they would see these missed opportunities. There were points in time that Israel, formal Israel, Israel Israeli leadership could have, could have done better regarding peace process, regarding initiative, regarding creativity. Uh, so this, this is where I would start the confession. Of course, everyone with, with himself, we're talking about a nation here, but nation is made out of people, so everyone with himself has his own, his own confessions. Israel is a country that is, forces you to, to ask yourself more questions all, all of the time. You are a soldier, 